Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> Melissa Lewis, fellow entrepreneur, businesswoman, elite businesswoman. Welcome to our humble abode. Thank How you. Are you. Yeah? I'm great. Yeah? Yeah. What's going on? A lot. Yeah, I know. That's why we're here. <laughs> A lot. Uh, I think the last three months, for everyone, everyone's been on their own journey. Yep. And for some, it's been really painful and long, and for others, I think they've thrived, you yep. know? So, just to give some context, so I predominantly work with really smart females who are very credible, very talented um, in male dominated environments, so property, law, finance, IT. What's happening now is we're going to have the biggest pool of talent that we've ever had in our life. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have fewer jobs at the most senior level. Yep. So, there's a few things that are coming out to play. One, a lot of my clients are getting tapped on the shoulder because they're finally being seen for not only being very good at their craft, but great leaders. Yep. And I think at the time where everyone had to go home and you know really influence from a small screen, that leadership quality is really necessary. It's not enough to just be good at what you do. Sure. You need to be great at communicating and sharing a vision and getting people on board and bringing them on the journey. And then also knowing if someone's not okay, how to build them up. Because yep. uh, we are seeing people reapply for their jobs. We're seeing mergers going through. Wait, hold up a second. So organisations are rejigging their leaderships oh, teams? absolutely. Well, okay, they're not making the money they used to. Yep. The strategy that they had before COVID, well, everyone's strategy is out the door. Yep. So anyone that was smart or going, right, who do I need? What do I need? How are we going to get through um, the next few years? They, they're reassessing their team and they don't have, you know, 300,000 for a CFO and a COO and a CEO. We're really going to make sure that we've got the best people in the roles. Now, a lot of my clients are doing one and a half, two jobs, and then they also got a pay reduction as well. So um, in saying that there is opportunities, but people are, and I used to see this in the big four working um, with my women, is that they often played one against the other. Now it's women and men getting played sure. against each other. And I'm seeing a lot of men also disadvantaged or, you know, very talented and not being, have the right opportunities. So that's happening. Wow. And so, and so are they being, so let's talk about the next step or the next tier. Are the next tier or, or employees being pushed out and then saying, hey, we now have these jobs available? Or is there redundancies happening and then new job applications are being posted? So both. I can see that once the government stops payments in September, if your business isn't making money and you're going to be reassessing going, do I cut more people out? Am I, am I good to go for business or do I just shut up shop, basically? So yes, we're going to have a lot more redundancies. We are going to have positions available that probably weren't available before, new titles, um, because we've got new new avenues. So what I'm saying is that people are, or my clients especially, are going, right, I'm gonna set myself up for the next few years before everyone does. Sure. I'm gonna look after me, what's, you know, who am I? What do I really want in terms of culture, in terms of lifestyle balance, in terms of being able to utilize my skill, my breadth and depth that I've worked so hard? Mm -hmm. Um, and then how do I uniquely differentiate myself in the market? And that's tough because it is so hard to do it for yourself. Like I've got my own coach yeah, to help me, you know. be recruited by a large org? Or Absolutely, to, yeah. to then go or to use their network and go, right, these are my skill set. Sure. And a lot of my well, clients are in risk or in finance. Where can I, where can I be valued? Sure. Not only where can I go, but where can I use my value that I love and then work in an environment that's one, congruent to my values, two, is going to make money over the next few years, so they're going to be around, um, and three, going to allow me to use my craft for a return on investment. Sure. So there's good opportunities. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's, it's very interesting from, from my lens. As an entrepreneur, I'm like, I don't want to say I'm thriving by any stretch, but I'm excited. Oh, I'm excited, excited, right? I'm yeah. excited about, like we had Karen Williams in here last month. We're talking about a bunch of things. Um, I, really, I, 
I'm optimistic about the future. I think that this is giving us a re like an opportunity to reset, Absolutely. cut the dead weights, yep. remove yourself from all those uh, heavy liabilities, yes. streamline your efficiencies, Bring it back to recruit the best, the best, 